Hey, if you like these videos, please subscribe and like and comment. It really helps out the channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Ah! All right, good morning. Today we are putting paint on. Yesterday we finished sanding. I did not film the sanding. I'm sorry, I was by myself and it was a hard job. And I just did not have the, well, I didn't have the time either to mess with the camera. So we're gonna use uh, Total Boat Wet a Edge one part polyurethane topside paint. We did not have to prime this because it has the other paint on it. And they said that it doesn't need to be primed. So we did clean, we did clean the surface with their de-waxer and surface prep. But man, I hated dealing with that shit. It's just like dangerous crap. Like I put on a, I put on a full respirator and, but you're constantly worried that you're going to get it on you, but it's all done. We are. She's going to be the best little boat in the water. And this, this tape I used, don't use it. What kind of tape it's is it? It's the more expensive, uh, sharp edge plastic masking tape and it doesn't stick for shit it's crap and it costs two dollars more a roll and i'm not happy with it at all all right i did it so proud of myself. It's excellent. Good job, Beck. All right. So I'm gonna take some thinner because I just don't know how much it is. It's gonna be, you know, make sure to put the lid back on. Oh heavens. And then you have to do it one-handed again. This is not a oh don't spill that either. How are you guys doing today? This is a little frustrating for all involved. Okay, got some thinner in there. Yay, thinner. Stir stick. I got the things he asked for. All right, you ready? Isn't this exciting? <laughs> so my view of things is it all works out in the long run. I hope today that's going to be what happens. It's a little frustrating, but when you can see the end goal in your head, it's going to be beautiful. Things are going to work out just great. But when you're in the middle of it, not so fun. Lots of cuss words. Are you cussing? No, but painting a boat is enough to make a preacher cuss. That's how frustrating it is. I've decided I'm painting it like I paint a house. Just a little, please. There, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I was trying to film and splash and, oh, I brought you a paint stick. So remember when I did Wandering Dolphin and I was going to put the, whatever that goop was on the back of it, can't remember. And I was, the guy asked me if I had the tools and I'm like, isn't it like frosting a cake upside down? And he rolled his eyes at me. Yeah. And then guess what happened, people? He did it for there, me. Because I wasn't there. He put it on the boat for me. And then I never told Topher, and he thought I was magic. You did too, tell me. No, eventually. I took the credit for it for a bit. Oh, yeah, you did. But Jake was amazing with the stuff in Trinidad. And he showed up, and I was just like, I'm frosting a cake upside down. And he's like, darling. And he never would have done it for me. No, that's, but he did it for a six pack of beer. That's which... one of the advantages to being a pretty woman. <laughs> pretty women, uh... the world just, if they, if pretty women had to walk in the shoes of an <laughs> ugly fat man for one day, they'd understand how much they are privileged. Talk about privileged people in society. <laughs> it's not the white male. 
And then also I was painting Wandering it's Dolphin. It's a pretty woman. I was putting the boot, I was putting our stripe on Wandering Dolphin and I had no idea that you were supposed to add dinner to the paint. And I was painting and Emily and I were busy. You did that with the bottom paint too. And it was. And it was like pudding. Yeah, and I, I just didn't know. I didn't know, I didn't know. But now then, it makes it sound like I was not there doing anything, which I wasn't, but you need to explain why. Christopher was away making the money so we could paint the boat. I was delivering sailboats. And I'm I, gonna need my paintbrush to do this. Okay, I'll go around get it. here if you want to get it for me. All right. That's pretty good. I look at myself here. <clears throat> this is before I went on my keto and intermittent fasting and I can't believe how fat I was. I am only 180 pounds now and I feel 10 years younger at least. <sighs> I'm kind of discouraged right now, you know? There's so much prep work involved to get it to the point that you're going to paint it that the painting is supposed to be very satisfying, you know, make up for that prep work. And there are just so many unknown variables in this that I didn't account for, like the lap strakes. I thought that would make it easier, not harder, you know. All right, he's on the last little third of the boat. Oh, I just pinched my ass in between the... Oh. Oh, I hope that doesn't, oh, don't break those. I'm uh, not concerned about them. I'm concerned about my ass. Well, I would give you it a sliver. It pinches my ass and you say, give... oh, don't break those. No, because it's going to give a sliver in your ass. And that's a whole different video. I want to make some money. <laughs> you pulling a sliver out of my ass. Yeah. It'd make more money if it was a sliver in my ass. All right, peeps. Yeah, well. Look at this shitty tape. Everybody look at this shitty tape. Don't buy this tape. It's not a ultra, sponsor. Sh ultra sharp lines. It's not a sponsor, Even nor will it, it be. Even if it was a sponsor, I'd tell you it's crap. <laughs> More expensive, and it works like shit. So you want sticky tape? You just want regular masking tape would have been fine. Regular, regular blue masking tape. So what made you buy? Tape. So what made you buy the more expensive tape? Sharp edge, ultra sharp lines, way better. I believed what it said. Did it say way better? <laughs> I'm not answering that shit. <laughs> Did you see it? And you were like, hey. I saw it. It cost $2 more. I figured it was $2 better. Yeah. Damn advertisement. And when I went to pay for it at Ace, the lady behind the counter said, ooh, they want a lot for that. And I said, yeah, but it's good shit. <laughs> she just went, okay, and rang it up. But I'm going to go in there and I'm going to talk to the painter people and Ace. And I'm going to say, that stuff's crap. Don't sell it. People ask you, it's shit. It's not worth the extra two dollars. It's not worth any dollars, honestly. <laughs> look, look at this shit falling off. Yeah. It's just crap. The other stuff, man, if you don't get it off, it's part of the boat. Or we need to be in a boat yard and I can talk somebody into painting it for us. <laughs> I can hide and you go around in a bikini and say, <laughs> I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't even, I was not even in a bikini. I was in working clothes. There was no bikini actually. You just have to act innocent. They, they just knew you what you'd look like in a bikini. <laughs> They're like, oh, they were hoping to see what you look like in a bikini. If they help you out. Oh my gosh. Perhaps. All right, after adding more thinner, Changing out a brush, we're back at it.
So we're making bets as to what are the chances of Topher dripping green paint on the new Oyster White. In the comments, right now, in the comments, before you watch the end of the video, make your guesses. How many times? How many people think I'm going to not drip any? And how many people think I'm going to drip once and scream and holler and cuss? How many people think I'm going to drip multiple times and just give up? On the wandering dolphin, I didn't want to be like the rest of the boat. And Christopher told me that I could pick the color scheme. I did? Yep. Is that why we had yellow shit? Yeah, because I want to be bright and sunny. I didn't want to be like everybody else with blue canvas, green canvas, tan and I canvas. Did. I let her do that until until I didn't. until and the yellow canvas was really pretty until it wasn't. And yellow you, canvas was always yellow canvas. It looked like crap. It did wow. not. It was bright and beautiful. Sorry to Sailing Sitka, who if any of you are not watching Sailing Sitka. You should watch them. They're funny. I like those guys. They do not know me. But, but yellow canvas? They have yellow canvas, and he's always saying, hey, back on the magic stool, bud. He's funny. But, so yellow canvas is pretty at the beginning, but when it starts mildewing, it yeah, gets Yeah, it gets spotty. all the spots. That's not just yellow, though. It's any of those light colors, like yeah. tan. So you always want, in our, in our years of canvas shenanigans, we decided that you need to go dark because the mildew. The even, dark is hard in the sun, but. Yeah, but the even in, it's just hard. Even with the good umbrella, and taking care of it and spraying it and doing all the things, it still gets mildew speckles and it's hard to cover. And if you have kids on the boat, there's always d dirty fingers going around the canvas. And so that is just too hard to keep clean. But I also had blue and white cushion covers in the cockpit and with children. Oh my goodness, not a good idea. And the other thing to keep in mind is when you're offshore for 30 days, you get a little tired of blue and white and gray. <laughs> so it's a good idea to paint your boat a different color than the colors of the ocean. <laughs> Right? Yeah, you need some color out there. Even if Go it's just... Go ahead and tell that story. Even... Tell, that's Emily and Becky's story. Even if you have color just in pillows around, it makes a difference. So Emily and I, we were in the middle of the Pacific. I don't know what day it was. It was probably like day two when we were... No, like, no, it was like day 26. All right, but we were just tired of it, and our daughter came up. She was 17 at the time, and she comes up. We're in the middle of the Pacific, bobbing around like a cork in a bathtub because we had no wind. Because Christopher won't sail. Because we're sailing and we don't turn on the motor. That's just what we do. However, she comes up and she's totally disgusted that everything was blue. The covers were blue. The canvas was blue. Everything was blue. The sky was blue. The... And then she... And then she I was wearing the, blue. She ends the, the conversation with Becky, and I was down below listening, but I didn't comment because I was not welcome at that moment. But she goes, let's play I Spy with my little eye. I spy something that's blue. And then she just burst out in maniacal laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I spy something that is white. <laughs> Pretty funny. And then there's my buddy Norman. And every time Norman talks to you, he spends another thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> he's painting his boat. Is he painting? What color is well, Norman? So he's, he's painting an oyster white. Like this. Oh. But it'll have a red stripe. Ooh, red. red Go stripes. Norman. So our two boats in an anchorage will look like Christmas. They'll look like we'll have to anchor together some Christmas somewhere. Right on, Norman. Norman, I love red. Go Norman. He has a lot of red canvas on his boat. Is it like a deep red or like a fire yeah, engine red? It. It's, a, it's a pretty red. Red? It's kind of a cherry red. It's that red that you like. Yeah. That you wanted to paint the whole boat. Yeah, but red fades, unfortunately. It fades. Uh, some umbrella won't. Yeah, it does. That's why we didn't do some umbrella. 
Does it? Yep, that's why we didn't do red. I thought the red umbrella held its color pretty good. Nope. Oh my gosh. Norman, don't listen to her. He's gonna be like, crap, now I'm gonna have to change it out. <laughs> well, yeah. Norman, just, put, just prove us wrong. That's all. So our boat, so on Wandering Dolphin, I had a bootstripe called Bitch Blue because I fought for it. Well, you gotta tell that story if you're gonna just mention that you had it. All right, so we're in Trinidad and I found- Having we're, the boat painted. We're having the boat professionally painted because it's hot and we didn't want to do it. Because we're lazy. And we found, we walked through the whole boat yard until we found the exact white that we wanted, which wasn't white at all. It was gray. It was a gray with-, with a little bit of purple in yeah, it. Yeah, right? it had a lab, or had a violet backstory or whatever, undercoat to it. So it was this- Great. It was, it was so pretty, so pretty. And I was super excited. So we that found was on a catamaran and it, was, it also had a bootstripe. Yeah. And it also had a bootstripe that was beautiful. I just love the combo of it. I was so excited about it. So we go to the, we go to the boat guy, painter. And the painter, and I tell him what I'm doing. So he looked it up and he's, he said, well, that's such and such the white color. He's like, actually it's gray blah, 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 and, it, and so much more money. And I was like, I don't care. This is what I'm having. I'm painting the boat. I can't have a cherry red boat. So I'm having this boat. So he gets the the gray paint, which is beautiful. I love it. Whisper gray, all drip. It was not mixed. It was not mixed. And it's beautiful. And I loved it. And so then I tell him the color of the stripe, right? Well, so and he- And we showed him the boat in the I yard. I showed him in the yard. He's like, yes, I understand. I, I get it. That. I get it. And so I, I was gone for part of the day. Christopher was working on the inside, probably on the new engine. I think we just put the new engine in. So he's inside and I come walking through the boat yard and he's painting the bootstripe and is not the right color. As a matter of fact, it was just an off the shelf, all grip indigo blue. Yeah, but he thought that I wouldn't know. And without saying anything to my painter, I get super bitch face and I go storming up the ladder and I look at Christopher and I said, did you tell him to use that blue? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, he's not using the right blue. And he's like, and Christopher didn't know because he was in the boat. But I assumed that they had a conversation without me and said, she'll never know. Christopher said he didn't have anything to do with it. So we get off the boat. Didn't, didn't have anything to do with it. And so we get I, off. Matter of fact, after this whole thing, this is how it got the name bitch blue. <laughs> he came to me and he said, whoa, man, <laughs> your woman, she's really, uh, she's really rough about this paint, man. <laughs> and I said, yeah, you thought you were going to pull something over on her. Don't do that. Now you got to mix up the right paint and redo the whole bootstripe. <laughs> and he goes, so we call this new paint bitch blue. <laughs> I said, well, I, I can understand that. And then, and Meanwhile, the didn't look bad. Hey, we need some reducer in this. Okay. Just and, a little. Anyway, so he, so the story goes, and so I come down and he's like, it's the same thing. And I went and got, got my paint swab and I flipped it up there and I was like, it's not the same thing. You need to stop and get me the right paint. Did you forget the story I told you about last night? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Story time with Tov. You gonna share it? Yeah, so last night I left some of the canvas unbuttoned on the boat and we were supposed to have nice weather. So I wasn't worried about it. And about bedtime, we're in bed and it starts sounding like a hurricane outside, no lie. Wind blowing 40 knots, rain spattling, we thought. But the wind was really the issue. So I thought, well, I need to go out and button down the hatches on the boat. So I came out, climbed the ladder, and it was this one. Normally I have one that's attached to the boat, but I only had this one up against the boat because I was getting ready to paint today. So I climbed it, got up on the boat, tightened down all down the canvas, and the wind blew the ladder over, but it, it, it hit the fence right there. Turn and look. 
So it was only partially over and I was on the boat in my underwear in the night with my phone sitting by my bedside and Becky mostly asleep, which means she'll go to sleep and nothing will wake her up till morning. And I have no blankets on the boat. I have nothing and I'm in my underwear. And I'm thinking, this is gonna be a rough night. And I thought, well, I could yell bloody murder and somebody might, one of my kids might hear me. But they sleep the with nose counseling headsets on. And I pictured the neighbors coming out and me in my underwear on the boat screaming for help. We don't have such a great relationship with our neighbors anyway. I didn't want to give them any fuel for future conflict. Makes me sound like an asshole. Anyway, I, I am sometimes. Anyway, so I hung over the side of the boat in my underwear and stretched my leg out to grab the top of the ladder and pull the ladder back, hoping it wouldn't go all the way and fall over the other way, all the way to the ground. And it didn't, and I was able to climb down. So. And when you got upstairs, was I asleep? No, but mostly. <laughs> Would you have been asleep? Yes. Within 15 minutes, that's the question. And Most yes, definitely. I think, I think actually you woke me up when you came back upstairs. So I would have been screwed the pooch till morning. <laughs> or until I got up and realized you weren't there. And then I tried to figure out where you were. I don't know that you would actually. I think you would just assume I'm fine. <laughs> Pretty sure I would have been there till morning or I screamed bloody murder. <laughs> Which I don't think I would have done, so. There's no kind of blankets on There's the boat? There's no blankets. I have some canvas stuff that I could have, but I was literally just wearing my underwear. <laughs> so it would have been a cold, terrible night. Although, well, could you start the I couldn't fire? I could even use the fire because I don't have the chimney hooked up or anything. I don't have the propane hooked up, so I couldn't have lit a, made some coffee or an egg sandwich. Ah, ah, ah! Quick, quick, quick! Here. Good job. I'm getting careless. I'm getting careless. That's what that was. That was carelessness. Not done back here. Don't freak out online about the crappy little corner right there. It's got lots of epoxy and filler, so it's not leaking inside now. I just need to make it look a little prettier. I'm not going for perfect, so you want that spend your five years instead of two years refitting the boat some of you have done such a wonderful job on your north seas ian specifically ian hopper your deck and stuff man i wish i could have done that and norman's deck he redid all of the he redid all this pulled it all off the boat and that's what i should have done but I would have been here another year. I'm not going to be here another year. I'm going. Going sailing. I think it is. What do you think? I think for today it's done. And guess what? There was no drips. Woohoo! No drips. All you people that bet against me. I was owe me an in and out burger. I didn't say what I was no, going to collect uh -uh. from you. Nope, you can't have in and out burgers anymore. I can too. Nope. I just can't have the bun. Like I've said before, I'm not going for yacht finish. I'm just trying to go. <laughs> so, I still need to put the name on this side. So today's job is the bottom. And I have some bottom paint that I, I used. Well, on Wandering Dolphin, I used Island 44 Plus. And uh, it was amazing. Unfortunately, for me, maybe not for the environment, 
I can't get Island 44 Plus in the US. So I'm putting on Island 44 TF. TF stands for 10 free. So it has no tin in it, um, but it does have a lot of copper um, and it's a good paint. I like Seahawk brand and uh, the Island 44 was so good that I'm willing to try that. The other thing is later on if I want to add the plus on the bottom like in Mexico or something, I can do that directly over the top of the Island 44 tin TF. So today, today's job is I've got a couple of through hulls that need some beefing up. They're not through hulls anymore, they're former through hulls. And uh, I've done the other side, but I'm going to sand those down a little more and add some fiberglass to those. And then uh, fortunately for the rest of this paint, all I have to do is get the white, which is, that's actually, uh, sea growth here it's stuff from the from the ocean so i've got to get that off i've got to just get all the barnacles there's a few barnacles still on the on the hull and then uh, go over it with actually a scotch bright pad and water and uh, scrub it down and then i can apply that island 44 tf directly to the bottom and of course I'll paint it up, I'll tape it off so that I get a nice edge. Uh, if you notice, I raised the water line a little bit. Uh, it, the water line actually was right here before and obviously it had, uh, they had raised it just by painting over it a little bit. Um, up here, it's much more noticeable, but the new, the new paint that's going to be the new water line. Um, the reason I'm doing that is I'm sure since I'm circumnavigating, I'm going to have a lot of extra. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of extra stuff on board, and probably the water line's going to go down a bit. I, I try to keep things light, but I'm also realistic about that. So that's where we're at right now. Going to get all suited up for work working on the bottom. Oh. So I swore to myself back when we lived on Wandering Dolphin that I would never do the bottom jobs on the boat again. And we stopped uh, sanding and painting our own bottom just because I couldn't deal with uh, what I knew I was working with. I mean, it's just poison. And... I'm not willing to do it. The only reason I did it in this case was because I had to because I couldn't find anybody that was willing to come to my house and do my bottom. So job. I know that uh, some of you are going to maybe ask why I'm painting this when I know that it's not going in the water anytime soon. There are a lot of bottom paints that you cannot uh, put in the water after a long time of having them sit out, but this is one of those paints. It's it's okay to do that, and I'm also putting one more coat on it right before I put it in the water anyway. So I was just this is like a base coat. There she is, all painted and beautiful. I am very happy with the end result. Thank you for watching. Come again next week. Yeah.